eight somersault. Very deliberate in all her actions. And the tuck front. So she's done two big front somersaults already. Big jump to touch the head to the feet. She does take quite big pauses. Lovely leap. But of course it means you can't stack the routine quite so full if you are slow as you work. Oh, but the change leg leap into the full twisting Corbett flip. I'm sure Olga Corbett never imagined it performed like that. So, not many deductions at all here. Can she keep it going to the end? Two and a half twists from a double flip. Well, we're seeing some fabulous beam routines. It's the big test for the gymnasts in an all-round competition. Some are passing, some are failing. Yes, she was She was a bit slow, she was a bit deliberate, but far better that than make a mistake. And the backflip, two backflips into the two and a half twist, just a little step. Didn't have the massive start value Score in qualifying. We shank. 14.7. Yes, I was just saying she didn't have a huge six start value in qualifying. Um, Mustafina and Fourgrass had got start values well into the sixes, which is what you really need to have to score a 15. Koko Surumi, third all round in London a year ago. Down in 18th, she was. She needs a good bars. And she's a really sharp gymnast on bars. Pike in and out, up to handstand with a half turn as well. Lovely one and a half pirouette. Another turn, another full pirouette into that. Oh, and that was one of the problems just pulled in too close she wants to be sure of the catch and she caught her feet as well as her hands which cost her quite a lot still into that lovely straight shape winds up into the double straight dismount very impressed with the technique but you can't get away from the fact when you hit the bar like that it's a big deduction it's all happening out there it's the gymnast that can go through keep it together that's the all-round trick. Here you see she pulled in too close. You have to get the feet past the bar before your hands touch. There we are, foot on. And it interrupted the swing completely. She really didn't look like she was going in in any problematic way. She just pulled the shoulder angle closed before she released. Oh, disappointment showing now. Such a pity. And that's top class competition. You've got to hold it together mentally and physically. Running repairs. Jang Yu Yang. 15 0 6 6. So much better score than in qualifying. She's uh, certainly chasing hard. Anna Wheeler for Great Britain. Humble. Now, we've had two great pieces from Hannah. What will this be? A third, a big step on landing, but a very well-flighted vault. Very strong off the top and spun very quickly indeed. But look at the focus, look at the determination. Round off. There's the backflip on the horse, and she really did spin it just a shade too far and cast to the side a little. But a good, powerful approach. You'll be very pleased with that, her third piece, without any major error. 
The score, 13.866 for Hannah Whelan. And saddened face for Coco Surumi, 12.9 left to reflect. come to recognize the posture the attitude the determination and the focus of Rebecca Ross look at it she is really anxious and determined to do a great job and all the signs are that that's just what she'll do Rebecca Ross then the USA, same focus, that same determination. And she hears on a third piece, can she keep a very high standard, she said herself. She works with such speed on this beam. Just rattles along. And it's a good job too, because we've seen some great beam routines already. And <laughs> this is not going to be one of them. What a shame. The standing Arabian, she just didn't get quite round enough. Three walk over. She'll attack it now into the flip layout. These gymnasts do so many routines in training that once they've stopped being tense for the competition, they really can perform with ease. Didn't, no hesitation, no pause there. Everybody has to go low to the beam. Just slow down a little bit. The side somersault so difficult because you can't see where you're going or where you're landing. But this is packed full of difficulty, a front somersault, oh! And she really is rattled, isn't she? That's the trouble, when you've been second, you so desperately want to win, that nothing but perfection will do. Here's the dismount, big double Arabian dismount, that is something special. Just a little waver there when she was still on the beam in her composure. Worked very hard to keep it together mentally. She must be so, so disappointed. But the beam claims its fair share of victims. It does, it does. And you know, sometimes as a gymnast, you just want it too badly. Because you know, she wasn't so far off on that. I bet you in training, she'd have held that move on. Both feet were on the beam. No, both feet were on. She just needed to tighten the middle and lift her shoulders up. Such a fighter. She tried whatever she could to hold herself on. But such a difficult skill. So all the quick thinking in the world didn't help Rebecca Bross. But she hears so good and so good touches all the way through. She's so acrobatic, isn't she? Yeah, that's her real strength. I mean, if this is the dismount, watch this. Half turn into double front, off the end of the beam. Really difficult. And Mustafina holding it together mentally. Three pieces down and still no errors that the judges can really smack her with. One to go. She's keeping her focus. Rebecca Bross then, 14.1 for that unfortunate outing on beam. Tatiana Nabayeva on floor. And she recovered from her unhappy time on bars. Well, she's a very expressive gymnast. You know, you can see when she's delighted, when she's unhappy. Beautiful double Arabian.
very smooth two and a half twist into the straight front with half turn. Just falling out of the spin. Dramatic look. Relatively quiet double twist in the middle. round off back fit, good lift, double pike, but stepped out. Really, the moment for her has gone. Now by Ava then, and the coach. Oh, that's the face that says it all. Even this last tumble steps out. When you've made a big mistake, really, the fight goes. 13.633, she's down in 11th place. <laughs> Sorry, caught me there, just uh, chatting to uh, the guys here about how well the Brits are doing, but also how well your girl, Mustafina's doing. Uh, she's out there in the lead at the moment and looking unassailable, would you say, if she can go um, through this routine? Her floor routine's pretty special, so if she can just keep her nerve, then I think she's pretty much got it in the bag. Hopefully I've not jinxed her. <laughs> Impressed with how uh, Hannah's performing in particular, she's hanging on to that top 10 place. Yeah, definitely, you know, she'll be really, she'll be really happy to be sitting in the top 10 place and uh, hopefully she can hold it together on this final piece of apparatus and finish in the top 10. So. What have you made of the standard overall? The standard of this competition has been great. Unfortunately, the most Americans have had a fall, which is pretty surprising. So they've left the field open for the Chinese maybe to step into the medals. They've been consistent, haven't they, the Chinese? Yeah, they've had a really good day today. Um, team final, they didn't have such a good day, so maybe they're making up for it today. There we have the standings. Uh, and you can see that uh, Mustafina is in the lead. Hannah Whelan there from Great Britain hanging on uh, at the moment to a top 10 place. Uh, and uh, Nicole Hibbert, 17th at the moment. And uh, that would be a very good overall performance.